Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And this is a breaking news, and this breaking news here strikes home for me. Um, all these storms and stuff that are in Vermont right now, all this flooding that's taking place, is taking place right over all my family. Uh, my daughter, my son-in-law, and my grandson are completely cut off from the outside world at this point in time. Uh, their house is fine. They live on a hill. But the brook that is in the back, it's a raging river, as you're going to see in the video, that's going to precede this. Also, I did reach out and contact my mother and where she lives. Right now, they are doing okay, but the brook in the back has turned into a river. I don't have any pictures or video of that, uh, but she says that they are keeping them uh, aware where they are and evacuations may be in order if it gets too bad i did contact my son he also lives in the killington area um, and uh, he is okay right now uh, he wasn't really sure exactly what was going on because they were just staying in because a lot of the roads in vermont are closed as we are speaking so this video here is a combination of the video footage and stuff that my daughter has sent to me and some of the uh, pictures and things that you're going to see throughout the county in Rutland County, which is in the center of Vermont. So please do me a favor and keep all these people in your prayers. I really would appreciate that because a lot of these people are my family, my friends. I have a lot of friends up there. And I just hope everybody stays safe, and I hope this passes soon. And this is making Irene in certain areas of the state look like a walk in the park. It's like a, a bad dream all over again. So please keep them, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. I would greatly appreciate it. And uh, to the greatest community out here in the YouTube world, thank you very much. And I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Enjoy this video. Yeah, we're here in Mount Holly right now on Route 103, where if you can see behind me, they do have uh, some fire department crews down here. Mount Holly Fire Department just getting here. We do have a few houses right on the Black River, which is roaring this morning. Uh, water just really ripping through yards and tearing garages off of foundations. We've seen cars underwater, trucks underwater. Uh, and as I mentioned, the fire department here going through those houses, checking to make sure that folks that do need need to get out can get out uh, we do have uh, again the flooding on the roadway about four to five feet of water covering route 103 and they are about to close route 103 down very shortly
Okay, now I want to show you people exactly what this really looks like. This is in calm season. When I was up there for a trip a couple years ago, and this right here is where we crossed. Now, what I want to really want to show you is in the next video clip. This is a huge beaver dam. If you look at the very top of the video, you can see the water on the other side. That's a, a huge beaver dam that they had built in there. And it's been there for quite a, quite a few years. All right? But nobody's ever really done anything with it. But this is where we cross. Now, let's take a look and see what it looked like today. And what they're dealing with right now why they cannot get out of town so we're gonna get going here soon. Stay tuned. as you can see this thing is flowing really well it's way out of its banks and everything else and right up here pay attention and you're gonna see there's no beaver dam and where I crossed just a couple years ago I mean this thing is way out of its banks the road is gone the whole nine yards right there that's where we cross no beaver dam she just sent me this video uh just right now it's 5 19 p.m on monday uh july 10th and the river and brook are way out of its banks once again it is rising uh further than it did before at this point there is going to be nothing left of their road thankfully as you can see they are on a hill um, that's the road that's way down there uh, it goes right down through here and you can see right in there it is just rushing right in the middle of the video right down the road and they are cut off um, my uh, son-in-law is trying to uh, divert some of the water there with his tractor